This lesson deals with open circuits and short circuits. You can find these notes in the ECE 201 ebook in chapter 2, starting on page 9. An open circuit is defined as a resistance that's approaching infinity. The circuit symbol is shown here as a break in the wires. Now if we take Ohm's law where I is equal to V over R, and R approaches infinity, then the result approaches zero if V is finite. And of course it's not possible to have infinite voltage. What this means is that the current is zero for any value of voltage. We could show this in a graph if we plot current on the y-axis and voltage on the x-axis, showing that the current is zero, whether the voltage is positive or negative or zero. A short circuit is the other extreme in that R is equal to zero. The symbol for a short circuit is just shown as a piece of wire. By Ohm's law, V is equal to I times R. So if R is equal to zero, and I is finite, then the voltage is zero for all values of current. In other words, the current is arbitrary or again unspecified. We could graph this again with voltage on the x-axis, current on the y-axis, and then we have a value of zero volts whether the current is positive or negative or zero. Let's introduce another electrical symbol called an ideal switch. When the switch is off, it's shown in this position, and the resistance is that of an open circuit, and when the switch is closed, we have a short circuit. This is called a single pole, single throw switch, and you can find some more examples of these in the supplemental problems. Let's take a look at a non-ideal or real switch. When the switch is closed, we expect the resistance to be zero, but because there's metal and wires inside the switch, there would be some resistance. You can find some values of wiring resistance in the supplemental problems for chapter two. I measured the resistance of a wall outlet switch. This is not connected in the wall, but simply the switch by itself, and found that it was about 50 milliohms. I also measured the resistance of a, of a small on-off switch that's used in a radio, but this was one that had gold contacts in it, and the resistance was actually quite low, it was around 30 milliohms. You expect a higher value for a small switch because there's less metal. The resistance goes down as the amount of metal goes up. In the off state, we expect the resistance of the switch to be infinity. But in reality, there is some resistance there. So the wall switch and this radio switch, when we have the switch disconnected, we just have the air between the contacts. Now, depending on the humidity of the air, we could have a resistance that could be on the order of 10 to the 15 ohms. These are some of the properties of open circuits and short circuits. 